God, you guys, it's that time of year. Like, I retain no color. I went from being a little, like, honeysuckle around the edges to full-on powder. Like, this is the time of year where I lose all my blackness. The outside. Good morning, Kingpins. Haven't seen you guys real time in quite some time. So I'm excited to see you guys, to talk to you guys, and just start vlogging my regular, degula, boring AF life. Well, here we are. <laughs> I told y'all it was coming. It is Tuesday, December 5th. It is 7.30 in the morning. Which isn't early, but I've been up since four. <laughs> um, I had a late dinner, so I was supposed to go to the gym. I was supposed to be at the gym by six, but I had a late dinner, so I woke up with like, indigestion and just feeling blah so I was like let me drink some water let me like move around a little bit so I fed the babes the little kitty babies and walked around drank water and now I'm drinking y'all think this tea no it's not <laughs> actually I don't know if I mentioned this before but I started drinking mushroom coffee and I'm sure you guys have Heard of it? It's all over the socials and YouTube, all of it. So, long story short, this shit is amazing, y'all. Like, oh my god, hold on. <laughs> so, what I do is I alternate. So, I do um, one day I'll do mushroom coffee, the next day I'll do tea. I have a filter on right now that brightens. But then, like, when you look at the edges, like, see that? The lighting in my apartment is trash. Trash. My apartment does not face east or west, so it gets no direct sunlight. It's, we're facing north and south, so we're, like, a breezeway. We're not getting any focused sunlight natural sunlight so and i've lived here we have lived here my wife and i met uh since it's been 11 years we moved in december 2012 but that's neither here nor there so yeah and then my mom moved in with us back in 2019 and she's been here since so yeah thousand square feet three adults three cats best thing in life <laughs> just kidding anyway but um we make it work i'm all over the place i said all that to say mushroom coffee rise mushroom coffee this shit is fucking fire believe the hype all that shit they be talking about like the different mushrooms the trumpet the lion's mane the um reishi that's so funny because y'all know my government anyway my government name it, the mushroom there's a mushroom called reishi <laughs> Y'all know my government is Reishi Omar, so that's funny. But anyway, oh my God, you guys, it's that time of year, like, I retain no color. I went from being a little, like, honeysuckle around the edges to full-on powder. Like, this is the time of year where I lose all my blackness the outside. Just... Can you see through me? 
because jeez. Anyway. <sighs> Look at what I'm watching. I love that shit. Like, I love that shit. I love ASMR. I will literally play that in the background for hours and hours on end because it's so soothing. Anyway, yeah, so it's about to be 8 a.m. and I was supposed to go to the gym this morning, but um, I felt like I needed to get these, these bowels moving because I just decided to have a spicy tuna wrap at 9 p.m. And it's because I didn't eat the way I should have throughout the day. So I was hungry. And I was like, yeah, I'm going to have a wrap. And red pepper chili flakes fucked me up, girl. Like, mm. But I was able to go to the bathroom. So I just need that to happen a few more times. And then off to the gym she goes. But today I'm feeling inspired. I'm feeling like I know what I need to do. And I just and stop planning for like ideal situations. Um, I'm referring to vlogging, obviously, because this is my first time coming back on camera since I released the last vlog, which was pretty much a, a sum of most of my experiences over summer 2023. And now we're approaching winter 2023, therefore the end. And I now have 82 subscribers, which I am incredibly thankful for. Um, but I kind of need to kick my ass into, not kind of, I need to kick my ass into gear and just release more content. I get so, and I know a lot of vloggers feel this way, but I get really confused. I don't know if confused is the right word, but I get really uncertain of what I want to do and how I want to do it and how often I want to do it. Like I just like, when it comes to creating content, you can just really get lost in your thoughts. And even though I started this journey two years ago, I didn't know, I didn't know what I was doing. You just, you just kind of have to like research and watch vloggers yourself and just kind of get familiar with the niche you're trying to appeal to, which is lifestyle vlogging. Um, and I actually was contemplating whether or not, cause I thought it, what a great idea to do vlogmas. You know, I can get my numbers up. I can, you know, subscriber count, watch time, all that. Um, and I have this thing where I'm kind of like an all or nothing. And if I, I'm a perfectionist, sum it up. I'm a perfectionist and that can be incredibly debilitating when it comes to executing, um, whatever it is you want to do, you know, professionally, personally, whatever it is, being a perfectionist is stifling. It makes you feel like if it's not how you want it when you want it um you just throw your hands up and you just back up and stunt your growth essentially because you never really move to the next phase in your life so wherever it is you're trying to go Ooh. Ooh. That was a big gulp and that shit's hot. Like I can feel it burning all the way down. Um, anyway. Uh, it's so cold out there. Like just the, I, the thought of going out there, I'm like, oh. Anyway, so I have this thing where I'm just like, I'm like, oh, I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that. Instead of just starting off slow, instead of just being like, okay, just pick up the camera. I was like, yeah, I'm going to do vlogmas, I'm going to vlog every day, edit every day, post every day. And I'm not even being consistent with what I am doing. Like, I release vlogs, like, every three to four months, which is why I started this two years ago, and I only have 15 vlogs. I have to become comfortable with normalizing just... Picking up the camera and vlogging whatever the fuck. Like, and let me tell you, up to December 1st, because it wasn't till December 1st came that I was like, yeah, this isn't, I'm not gonna do this. I'm not gonna be able to achieve vlogmas. I'm gonna disappoint myself and I'm gonna throw my hands up because that's what perfectionists do. So, 
I thought, let me just start and be consistent at at least giving you guys weekly vlogs and then maybe some other short form content in between. Um, you know, so a lot to come, but I'm taking baby steps in the sense that I want to succeed. I want to be consistent. I want to grow my following, my channel. I want to turn this in to very much something. So and the quicker I can get my channel monetized, the better. <laughs> so we've got some work to do. So stay tuned. I'm about to um, get on this yoga. I do it right here in front of my TV on the floor. I've gained so much weight since my surgery and I, and my doctor warned me about, about this, but it's got me really, really, really down. Like I can get really depressed and down on myself for just about anything. So I'm trying to just stay out of that frame of mind, stay positive, get my ass back in the gym, lose these extra LBs I've put on and just keep a smile on my face because Sometimes that is just what you have to do. Look at my tree. Oh, I'll show you guys. Okay, so we have we have um a mat we have a big bow tree that you know we used to put up, but when my mom moved in, my office had to come out here. And um we can't fit the big tree anywhere in here anymore. So every year we either get a natural small little mini tree um, and just throw some little ornament nothing special just whatever we got um and this year i found a little faux tree like that thing right there was less than 40 dollars so i was like and it was flocked and it was cute and it has pine cones and shit so i grabbed like a handful of fucking um christmas ornaments because we have several out of storage because we had put them up in storage and what we do every year and i found that one isn't that adorable guys can i zoom nope <laughs> not on front face it's so it's so cute like adorable but anyway are you guys excited for the holiday because i am not really but <laughs> i've already done all my christmas shopping we got christmas shopping done before thanksgiving we ain't got time for that. It still trips me out when I go on YouTube and I see this. My thumbnail. You see that? When I see my thumbnail, I'm just like, oh, you really did this. You really did it. You really, you really do this. You just have to keep doing it. It's just crazy. Y'all have no fucking clue what I went through to get this vlog out. Like I had that footage since summer and I intended to drop it in October. And I couldn't because the files got corrupted and remedying that, fixing that situation took me six to eight weeks, like I know, somewhere in that realm to fix. Girl, yeah, let me stop talking. Here, here, here I am. I am a grade A fucking procrastinator. Anyway, so I'm going to let you guys go. But before I do, just said this in the beginning. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. You are now watching King Kinsey. I hope you guys enjoy your stay. And if you do, please, 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 please help your girl out. Click that subscribe button and be a part of the Kingpin Nation. <laughs> I can't wait till I eventually meet some of you. Like some of you that I don't know. There's 82 of you. I probably know a handful. I know I know a handful of you guys that watch, um, but those that I don't know, hi, hi, hello, I love you. Thank you so much for tuning in. <laughs> I hope one day I can meet you guys. Um, if you ever see me out and about, do not hesitate to introduce yourself. I'll have my camera with me and I'll put you in the vlog for sure if you're comfortable. Um, but yeah, so click that subscribe button, hit that bell and turn on your post notifications. So you guys will know first when I drop my vlogs, which is going to be frequent. I promise. I promise. I promise. I promise. I'm going to get my ass into gear. I'll check back in with you guys. I love you. Bye. <laughs>
Hey guys, I'm back at the house. They just got home from work, so I'm about to whip up some dinner. That was a great first workout, by the way, after a long drought. Needed that. Oh! <laughs> Why do you cover up so fast? <laughs> you are so funny. She like, you don't see me. Let me zoom in. Hi, Boogie! <laughs> She's tired. Anyway, I'm about to cook this dinner. And yeah, I stuffed my face. I had a protein shake, but that wasn't enough. So I'm about to eat leftovers, which is meatloaf and mac and cheese. And then um, I'm making her some ramen, some salmon ramen. So yeah. I'll check back in with you guys when I'm done. Bye! But the paramedics say when they arrived, Cynthia was just standing over Todd's body. She wasn't doing any CPR. What's also intriguing is they say the body was already cool to the touch. So when did Todd Summer die? I didn't have all the ingredients I wanted, but this is a motherfucking staple in this house. Ooh, yum. Now I wish I'm having this... Not the meatloaf, because... Ooh, that look good. Who about to eat all this? I'm about to eat all this. I'm gonna make it fit. Don't gasp, there is a salad, I mean. <laughs> she is gonna get some greens. <laughs> literally top three shows of all time for me Santa, Santa, Merry Christmas, Santa, Happy New Year, Happy New Year.